All right, in the kitchen today, Jennifer Morris, a baker from Just Cupcakes. She's going to show us how to make a tasty seasonal treat, cherry blossom cupcakes. And with a name like that, we know that they're going to be beautiful. Yes, they're Welcome going to be great. back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, and I'm, I'm ready to help if you need help. All right, we've got a cup of butter. We're going to go ahead and add this to our mixer. Is it softened? Yes, it's softened butter. We bring it to room temperature. Okay. Let's see. All uh, right, uh, we need to get you another outlet. Let me see, is there a little test and reset button there? All right, can you try to switch it on again? Okay. There we go, thank you so much. <laughs> then we have a cup and a half of sugar, we're gonna add to that. That's a lot of trial and error with the flat iron is all that is. <laughs> All right, so butter and sugar. Yes, and we're going to cream this. And then we have egg whites, because what we're doing today is a vanilla cake. It's a white batter, so we don't include the yolks with this. Okay, and so the, you don't lose anything texture-wise by not having the yolks in there. No, you don't at all. all. Right. We're going to stream these in. Now go ahead and tell you about our dry ingredients. Okay. We have three and a half cups of flour, and to that we're going to add our leaveners, which is two tablespoon, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, then a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you don't want to mix up those, the baking powder and the baking soda. No, they look. You want me to mix those while you sure, can Sure, just whisk them? that a little bit for okay. me. Yeah, no, that uh, it's amazing how wrong that can go if you mix them up. Okay, now, now why is it important to mix the wet and dry ingredients separately, at least at first? Well, you want to mix them separately just because you want to make sure the leaveners are well incorporated in the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then it provides balance when you incorporate it into your batter. If you okay. rush the batter, that's when you get the lumps or the air bubbles or your cake goes flat. So you want to make sure you do it in the proper order just so your cake will be nice and fluffy on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this and then okay. we'll be ready to add that flour. Okay. I know, and I also know what I've been doing wrong. <laughs> All right, I think this is pretty well incorporated now. Great, and our wet ingredients are gonna, it's gonna be a cup of buttermilk. Okay. That's gonna give this cake a really nice flavor. And in, our, in my buttermilk, I have some vanilla extract and vanilla bean paste. So that's where you get that good vanilla flavor from. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add half of my dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. Then you want to turn this on low because you don't want your batter flying everywhere. Right. And then we'll, do, we'll just have the buttermilk go in too or you put that all in now? Yeah, I put the buttermilk in once the um, flour is well mixed. Mm -hmm. So once the batter looks smooth and even, I'll go ahead and add this buttermilk. Should we be preheating the oven? Yes, the oven should be preheated at 325. All right, I'll get that started for us. And then um, we're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we'll kind of fill our little cups and we'll talk more about okay. how you're going to decorate them. Great. Okay? All Thank right. you. Jennifer Morris from Just Cupcakes. All right, we're back in the kitchen with Jennifer Morris from Just Cupcakes in Virginia Beach. And you've got two locations. You've got a hilltop location yes. right, in Virginia Beach. And where's the other store? Town Center in Virginia Town Beach. Center. Yes. Okay. And both of them will be featuring our cherry blossom today. This is the first day of the year that we've had it on the menu. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm working on the cherry filling, which okay. is three cups of puree cherries. Mm -hmm. Added a cup of sugar to this and three tablespoons of cornstarch. And what we're going to do is let this simmer until it stiffens up. Yep. And then once once that happens, we put it in the refrigerator to cool, mm -hmm. and after that, we add it to oh. this lovely piping bag so we can fill it easily, and okay. that's how you get the filling in the cupcake. All right, but first you have to use that little magic tool, right? Yes. This is the apple core, and this is how we take the centers out <laughs> to provide a filling. Magic tool. A One magic. apple core. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so you all at home can find it. Okay. And if you want, you can go ahead and ooh, fill these. I do. Okay. And you just fill it up to the top just so you get a lot of cherry in it. Okay. Okay. All right, it's a little bit messy, but that's okay. Okay, there you go. Let me just stick that over to the side. All right. Okay, and then we're going to um, do our buttercream. We're going to do the flat top frosting, and you're going to help me do that, right? Okay, sure. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you one. So what we do, we just add a dollop size uh -huh. to the top. Okay. 
Then we use our offset spatula to smooth out the top, and mm -hmm. then we go around the edge with it. Okay. All right. So, yep, yeah, we just go around the sides, mm -hmm. make it nice and smooth. And then we're going to okay. roll it in these fun sprinkles. Right. I noticed they have a little pink in there. Yep, a little splash of pink. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. See, how's this? This is going all right, right? Yeah. Flat and then all around the sides. Mm-hmm. Just smooth around mm -hmm. the sides. And if it's not all the way smooth, it's okay because the sprinkles will cover it up. Love that. Yes, but we're introducing a lot of um, fun spring flavors this month. We have our lime, our strawberry vanilla, vanilla caramel as well. <laughs> Looking good. How many do you? Uh, <laughs> how many do you? Do you crank out an hour? Because I'm working on like a two cupcake an hour pace. Quite there. a few. We have to have enough for both stores, so. I have frosted my thumb. That's a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start on some branches. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Mine's falling you out just, of the paper. Use your hand. Oh. And um, yeah, just kind of. Oh, it up. Whoa, okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Now yours is ready for some branches. Mine's going to have to be a small tree. Yeah. Just maybe a few branches, just two or three. Okay. And now these um, bags, people can make them at home, right? They just maybe snip off the end of a ziplock. Yeah. Bag. You can do that, or you can um, go to your local cake supply store and grab the pastry bags. And this is just our classic American buttercream. We dyed a little bit pink and a little bit brown. Okay. And we're going to add some cherries to the tree. Whoa, go ahead. Okay. I caught up. Those are your little cherry blossoms? Yes. So, you know, cherry blossoms are full of those lovely pink flowers. Yes. And that's what we're trying to... And I think the festival is still going on in our nation's capital. Uh -huh. It came a little early this year, but that's okay. Yep, and here you go. Okay. So, how do you guys kind of come up with the themes at Just Cupcakes? Well, we change our flavors weekly, and I guess we're inspired by the seasons and the weather and the fresh fruit, the seasonal uh, fruit providings that we have locally. And that's kind of what inspires our menus. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Yay. Yes, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll have this lovely cupcake at both stores. Most of them will look like this. We also did our signature swirl on some, too. All right. Jennifer Morris, thank you very much. Don't forget, two locations in Virginia Beach, Town Center, the number 671-2020, or Hilltop West, 425-1010, or find them online at justcupcakes.net. Thank you very much. Thank you.